Lab activity, absolute dating. Introduction. Some isotopes spontaneously emit particles or energy to yield a different element or isotope. This is called radioactive decay. This decay occurs naturally and is not affected by temperature, pressure, or chemical change. Radioactive decay takes place at random rate. Although you cannot predict just when any given atom will decay, you can predict that the billions of atoms within a small piece of radioactive element, a number will decay at a regular and predictable rate. This lab's objective is to become familiar with the process of radioactive decay, the factors that affect radioactive decay, and the different decay rates of various elements. Vocabulary words, radioactive decay, element, isotope, half-life, stable product, unstable product. You may follow the directions in procedure A, or you may solve them mathematically. Let's take a look at a mathematical solution to get you started. For this lab, we'll be taking a look at carbon-14 changing into nitrogen-14 with a half-life of 5,700 years. We take a look at this chart. We start off with half-lives, time, unstable carbon-14, and the decay product, the stable nitrogen-14. At current time, zero years, we haven't experienced any half-lives, we start off with 100% carbon-14 and 0% nitrogen-14. After one half-life, 5,700 years have passed. Our original 100% carbon-14 is now 50% carbon-14. If we started off with 100% carbon-14 atoms and now only have 50% carbon-14 atoms, that means the remaining atoms have now been changed into nitrogen-14, and we have 50% nitrogen-14. Notice that 50 plus 50 equals 100. Two half-lives is equal to two times 5,700. After another 5,700 years, leading us up to 11,400 years, what was 50% carbon-14 is now half of that, down to 25% of the original. And now we can figure out how much nitrogen-14 we have since we started off with 100% carbon-14 and only have 25% carbon-14. We now have 75% nitrogen-14 in our sample. At the end of three half-lives, we now add another 5,700 onto 11,400. We're now up to 17,100 years. After 17,100 years, the 25% carbon-14 left over from the original amount is now half of that, down to 12.5% carbon-14. To find the amount of nitrogen-14, we're going to subtract 100 minus the 12.5. Please complete the data table on page 2 for the lab. Once you've completed the data table for page 2, please complete the graph on page 3. And please complete the discussion questions.